Hey y'all, <laughs> just ignore my hair. I'm 4th of July, I'm getting ready to go to um, my aunt's house, it's like our family house. So we are going to do like a cookout and like games, so I'm excited. I'm actually late, I'm always late at this point, so, so whatever. It's 3.20 right now, I'm getting ready. Um, I'm not, I actually don't know what they're doing for 4th of July, like I'm not an American, I just moved here two years ago, I'm still kind of new in this country, so I don't really know what they do, but I kind of want to make like, do it like a fun makeup, like something colourful, but I don't know if I have enough time, so like, let's just see how that goes, <laughs> okay, so, I have my matcha here, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm going to start doing my makeup. Let me tell you what happened to me. Like, I went to Zara, I think, like, three days. I went to Zara on... Today is what? Today is Tuesday. I went to Zara on Saturday with my, my classmates. And we just wanted to go to Zara because she told me um, Zara is having, like, 4th of July sale. And I never meet Zara sales, like, ever. I'm always buying things full price. So, I mean, I can never say no to shopping. So, anyways, we went to Zara and everything. We shopping. Mind you, like, it was kind of not worth it because... It was so packed and like they already took all the good things there but anyway we did some shopping we went around to see what zara has you know and, and then we got what we wanted and like we, we paid and everything please tell me why when we were leaving zara like the that whole that beeping thing that like when you're stealing it just started beeping and beeping and i'm like what like we just froze like oh, what's happening and then like the security the security there was like oh come like she was trying to when you search us, but I mean, like, do we look like people that can still like? She just like basically looked at us and showed like, oh, like maybe it was the um. I was kind of pissed because I'm like, what, what the hell? So um, she was like, maybe it was the shoes we bought because I got I got a shoe. She, my friend got a shoe as well, and we got perfume. So and she was like, oh, it's the shoe and perfume most likely because that happens. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, as long as you know, like, if there's no mistake or anything. So when we were leaving, my friend was saying, what if like the Zara girl didn't take off the tags, the those the security monitors from our clothes? I'm like, how, how why wouldn't she do that? Like that's her job. Why wouldn't she like what, what kind of silly mistake is that? Because it's kind of embarrassing. Not even this kind of, it is embarrassing. And I was like telling her like there's no way she forgot to take off the um security monitor. Please tell me why why when I got home to try my clothes and I saw a security monitor on my jeans. Like that's why it was beeping. I was so pissed off. I'm like, what the hell? I was I was like like that was that could have literally been like one of the most embarrassing things that happened to me. And if not for like, you know, the area, maybe like, you know, how this nice the security was or something, I don't know, or maybe how we looked. They would have thought we were thieves. And that was just that would have been like so so damn embarrassing and I'd be so mad. Cause I actually went to go get um jeans for where I was going to. So I still wore the jeans. I had to yank it out and I wore it. But I'm going to go back to Zara and return it because I didn't deserve to be um, to be embarrassed like that. I did not. So I'm going back to Zara. I'm going to return it. I'm going to get another jeans because I deserve it. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, I'm going to go back to Zara on Saturday after class because this the Zara the Zara is in, is close to my to where I do classes on Saturday. So I'm going to go there again and I'm going to. Return it and I'm kind of going to use style to shop. I don't know why Zara has a chokehold on me. Like, I've had so many bad experiences with Zara. Last time I went to Zara again, not this last time, like the one before the last time, I lost my MS bracelets. I never told you guys, but that was so annoying. I lost, I, I was getting dressed, I think it dropped or something, and I just lost my MS br bracelet. So, I'll be having like bad experiences with Zara. And honestly, they're not even bringing out good things anymore these days. So, but I'm a loyal, I'm a loyal person, so I have to still shop at Zara. I mean, what can I do? This is your man. Yeah. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, and, and I'm that's, and that's, him. and that's what you're gonna settle for. I'm gonna stick beside him. What can I do? Zara is having like this huge sale right now. 
So I'm trying to take advantage of that. So yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit of rant I was doing. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm still going to return you though. But you're not serious. Let's say hi. Hello. I'm not fully dry, but it's okay. It's okay. My name is Ozuba. Hey guys, so it's a few days later. Today's Friday. I've had like quite a busy week, so I wasn't able to vlog. But yeah, I woke up really early today um, because I have a busy day and um, I have a lot to do. So right now I'm going to my sister's place so that she can fix me up. I need to get my hair done and get my lashes done and my nails nails and i have an appointment with my lawyer um around 2 p.m today so i have to like 
hurry up. I also have to wax today and I have like a work up I'm supposed to submit that you know like it's way way over my deadline so yeah it's going to be a very busy day for me but well, don't worry I'm going to take it to the good part okay how is my scarf um I need to make some coffee because I can't function without coffee I kind of feel nauseous today. I'm feeling very weird. I feel very bloated. But I think it's because I've not honestly been been good this week when it comes to eating. I've kind of been stressed eating because when I'm under stress, I eat a lot. But yeah. Yeah, so let's go. I have a busy day ahead of me, so no time. No time to waste. my nails today and i wasn't able to do anything now i had like such a busy week but it's okay this hair can this hair will make up for it you know book your next installment from female sponsors book your next install from female sponsors but this hair would do though because it's so cute i'm in love i wish i don't make up now so i can like take selfies but. yeah I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi. Um, hi. Can I book an appointment today for a wax, a Brazilian wax? Okay, what time? What time are available, please? Um, we're pretty open throughout the day. What time do you need? Okay. Um, can I come by 2.30? 2.30. Okay. Oh. Just put just say, just put um three o'clock just so I can be there on time, please. Okay, yes. Your phone number okay. You're on the interview. All right, thank you. Hi, can I book an appointment today for to get my nails done? Okay. Uh, when? To, when I come in? Around four p.m. Today? Yes. 
Okay, do, but do you offer gel X? Okay, all right, I'll be there. Thank you. Bye. Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later. I'm actually on my way to get uh, waxed and I'm going to get my nails done. Um, I couldn't get it done the other day because I was sick. I've actually been sick for the past like three days. So I didn't like continue like with my lashes and nails and all that. So I'm going to do them today. Um, I feel a lot better now, thank God. Like I've been I've really been out of it. I'm actually still out of it now, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to continue our day regardless. So, yeah, um, I have an appointment to get waxed by <gasps> by three. It's already like 2:55. So, thank God it's not like far from my house where I have to wax in, like five minutes drive, and then I'm going to get my nails done. I'm also going to go to Target to get like my monthly cycle needs, and yeah. Um, guys, I don't even know, like, I do do acrylics, I do acrylics, and acrylics is destroying my nails, like, it's really, really destroying my nails, and it's kind of, like, scaring me now. I've heard of gel X before, and I've asked people if they do gel X, and no one does gel X, so, I don't know. I'm actually going to a different nail salon today, because I kind of want to see if it's maybe my regular salon that is making my nail look this bad. I'm actually, I can't even show you right now, because my nails look really bad. Yeah, it's destroying my nails, so well, I, I would see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I packed my hair up <laughs> because I kind of destroyed the curls my sister did for me, so I kind of packed my hair up and you know, see if that does it look good. I can um, I packed up to like hide how bad the curls are. Yeah, I didn't really like take care of it well because I'm not feeling well, but I still love how it looks though, it looks cute. So, so yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go do this. Okay. How do I like my outfit? Ready to go now. I still kind of feel sick, boys. Whatever. You know. So for tampons, these are the ones I get, these organic ones because I mean you're putting it inside your body so you can as well just get like the uh, pure rest if you will. So this is like pure cotton and it's organic. I rather, I actually prefer having this to buying this type because I just feel like these types are not like very um, healthy and you know it can cause all those, I think they call them like some one kind of syndrome, I don't know. So. I, f I get this instead of this and I usually get this is the regular I usually get the super so let's look for the super super check 
and then for pads i get this one because it's ultra thin and durable so i wear tampons and pads i put this like on my panties this is uh number five this is like the for heavy flow i have heavy flow as well so i use this now let's go for, look for granny panties granny panties oh and i need um I also need like panty liners so for panty liners I get this ones because they're like very thin and just easy to use so yeah for after your period now I'm going to look for some granny panties you know to feel comfortable and nice oh Do they sell pants in Target? I don't even know. Let's see. This is like a good coffee table book, right? Or no? Focus. Focus. This is not what I came here for. I came here to look for granny panties. And that's what I'm going to look for. I don't see any... So like maybe it's in front. Let's go check front because I don't see any anything like underwears here. So I'm back home now and oh I couldn't wait to change why this girl that was waxing me today dealt with me like she was ripping the way she was ripping my <laughs> my BJJ today it was a lot like it was so painful normally I don't even like um I don't move I don't flinch whenever I'm waxing because I'm so used to it and and you know like I kind of like the pain to be honest but today's one was like the pain was like up there but it's kind of like my fault because i didn't exfoliate before i went for waxing so the pain was like out of this world and i keep forgetting that if you don't exfoliate before you go for your waxing the pain is going to be unbearable so that's a tip for you if you're waxing or if you if you're someone that likes to wax or if you're just starting on waxing just make sure you're exfoliating first before you go for your waxing trust me the pain is going to be like a lot lesser i actually got the gel x nails and honestly it feels like normal nails without acrylic like it's just she kind of just like glued it on and but the nails itself like the the plastic nails itself is like very thick so i think that's a gel x um it's way more expensive than acrylic for sure but but a nail tell that did my nails today she was telling me that gel x is actually better and it lasts longer so i really doubt it lasts longer because i have very very short nails so if the nail is not like hard on enough it goes it like it comes off so i'm just hoping that this is actually going to be a lot better so i can actually switch to gel x i'm trying to save my natural nails so i don't mind spending that extra Amount. I hope it's able to last at least two, three weeks because the reason why I really like acrylic, apart from the fact that it destroys my nails, is that it's very, very strong. It's very hard and actually lasts on your nails. But this one is just glue, and then they she pressed it on here. So let's see if it, if it works. Let's, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to tell you how it holds up for now. But for now, my my um, but for now my fingers feel like so much lighter. Like you know when you have acrylic on, you kind of feel it. It's kind of like heavy, but this is very light because you don't have that acrylic putting more weight on your fingernails. And yeah, and I also did my toenails. Very nice. I'm I'm just going to freshen up for a little bit because I've not eaten anything today and I don't like the thought of food right now makes me want to 
like wants to make me want to throw up so i know i'm not pregnant <laughs> No, it's not what you're thinking. It's just, I just don't feel very good. So the only thing I'm really, really craving right now is like soup. Like noodle soup, like ramen. So I just called my boyfriend to take me to the um, to the restaurant to have like ramen, um, ramen noodle soup. And there's one like 10 minutes from my house. It's very, very nice. And yeah, I that's what I, I just want to eat today, to be honest. I'm like that's what I'm craving. So um, people are really complimenting my hair today. Like I had so many compliments, although I didn't even do it well. Like look how everything just falling and and like these curls are like gone. I have to tell my staff to redo this hair for me. But yeah. Alright, I'm going to see you um at the ramen place. Say bye, baby. Say bye, baby. Bye. We'll see you in my next video. Yeah, and I feel a lot better. Thank God that that soup was actually helpful. Um, <clears throat> my throat is not clear, though. But... <sighs> Peace.